cannot let the year end without a surprise. So stay tuned because we've got some great news. Hello, YouTube. I just wanted to make a quick and brief and short announcement, but that's not all I'm going to do. However, I would like to congratulate each and every one of you on successfully completing the year that we have come to know and love and hate as 2021, because in a few hours it's going to be over. And I had two more trip videos that I was supposed to be doing all this time, and uh, all December I've been called once. Uh, they they had some some incentive thing that they did where they they offered uh, premium pay or uh, like time and a half for all coverage like holiday coverage dates and triple time for uh, anybody who didn't call out on those uh, between mid November and January second triple time for all the uh, holiday coverage dates as well. And so not only has everyone wanted to work their shifts, but no one has called out uh, hardly at all, meaning an entire month of December on reserve. I've been essentially unused. I flew a two day trip, a very short, uh, dumb two day trip, and there was really nothing to record and show for it. Uh, and so I've really just been spending the month at home with family. Uh, we uh, did our, our Christmas Day celebration a little bit early. We had our, our Christmas trip. Um, and then, lo and behold, I'm home Christmas Day. And uh, it's also New Year's Eve right now. And I have been off duty for the past hour, unused New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, or going into New Year's Day. I mean, I have to fly tomorrow because it's going into my January schedule. But yes, unused, home with family. And it's been amazing. Uh, but I wanted to I wanted to get get uh, the last two uh, of the videos from my two trips done. And I figured, why not just make it short and sweet and summarize things? And so because uh, a, a, a number of great things happened, but it would be a, a long, long thing if I did it my normal style. So let's go. Number one. Guess what we did? We knocked out two birds in like three days. You know, my capital run thing. Well. I had a couple of them. Uh, I did Phoenix, Arizona, and I did Albany, New York. So let's take a quick pick, a quick pick, yes, a quick peek at those capitals. Definitely one of the most unique capital buildings I've ever seen. Never ceases to amaze me how diverse. I mean, usually uh, most capitals have the, the massive dome thing, and that's what I've gotten used to. And then Phoenix was like, nope, we're not doing a dome. And uh, New York was also like, nope, we're not doing a dome. So that was interesting. Uh, but during during this time, a lot of things happened. A very emotional time for us as Ohioans. Uh, football happens. And there's been some bad. Okay. Fourth down, fourth down. Fourth down, how far? Fourth and five? Can't watch, can't watch, nope. Can't watch, watching, not watching, I'm watching. Ooh. <laughs> it's not over, it's not over. 
That's it. That is the game. That is absolutely the game. They have destroyed us on the run game. That's probably going to put it close to 280 yards rushing, 290. Yeah, first and goal for them. Congratulations, Michigan. It's about time. Whew. But it hurts. All right, good night, y'all. It was tough. It still hurts. No, it doesn't hurt. It was, it was long overdue, about time that uh, Michigan reminded us that it is a rivalry. Um, but there were also some very wonderful moments as well. Yeah, y'all got swept. Swept. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've had we've had a very very great uh, season. Uh, not just the Bengals, but our family. <laughs> meaning the holiday season and not just the football season. You see, you see what I did there? It's like double meaning. Uh, but uh, yeah, watching Christmas come in to uh, the airports was great. Flew through Chicago, through Charlotte, and then did some setup time at home as well. Tell you this little girl has had the most cutest moments this year. It's been it's been crazy, and I'm gonna share uh, some of those with you. But we're gonna do a quick run through of several of the story times that we had from the last couple of trips: the good, the bad, the ugly. Well, hopefully not too ugly, but you know, you weigh in on that. Uh, but I did want you guys to see if you can make heads or tails of this situation that we had on board today. We had an individual who was slightly larger like maybe spilling over the armrest larger. That individual was seated in a middle seat. Now, as chance would have it, that middle seat was desired by a person who was flying with a person who was at the window seat. And through a convoluted, uh, convoluted game of musical chairs, the uh, middle seat over armrest person ended up at an aisle seat just one row back and four other people played musical chairs everybody was happy except for one other person and that is the person who ended up next to the uh, aisle seat my my uh, seat runneth over person and proceeded to rant and rave on this very loud boisterous tirade that was heard by the front half of the aircraft about how uh, that individual didn't didn't want to be stuck next to someone of that size and did and wanted that person to take their original seat and like caused a, a huge show and fuss about it. And I found myself stuck in the middle, not literally, because I actually didn't have to deal with the situation at all. I simply heard about it as I was coming up to the front of the aircraft. And I wonder, like, how do you feel in that situation? Because on the one hand, I get it. This person wasn't even supposed to be next to you, and you definitely don't want somebody pouring over the armrest onto you. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants that. However, then I felt like it's a step further to go into this public humiliation mode and demanding everybody do something about it. And I just, I don't know where I fall between the two of them. I really don't. Um, and um, I mean, we we were completely full flight. There's no other seats, no other options, nothing else we can do. And it was a two and a half ish hour flight from where were we? Fort Myers to uh, Chicago. It was not a short, short flight. But um, what would you do in that situation? I'm curious because for me, we did the best we could with what we had, which was, um, and I believe, uh, 
someone ended up like the window seat ended up switching with the middle seat just to calm her down a little bit just voluntarily but you can't make anybody give up their seat but then on the flip side i get it because you weren't originally next to this person and now because someone else decided to play musical chairs now you are i don't know i don't know how i feel about it it's very very uh I feel very conflicted about the whole thing but I think we handled it pretty well. And from the responses we got from the rest of the cabin, I feel like it was resolved amicably for all but one. You can't make everybody happy. So we just do the best we can with what we've got. I'm making my final walkthrough. And as I'm walking past uh, this somebody's grandma's seat, um, she pushes her call button. And so you hear the boom. And then... <laughs> And so I, I stop and I'm uh, and I look at her and she just looks at me and she's like, is that how I turn the and I can tell she's trying to turn the lights on, but she's hit the call button. And I'm like, and then just as she asks a question, she looks and she sees the icons. I mean, the two buttons are very close together, but she sees the icons and she realizes her mistake. And so I just had to make a big joke out of them. And, and she's like, I didn't mean to push out. I'm like, yeah, I'm right here. Like, I'm right here. You don't need to call me. <laughs> <laughs> we all fell out laughing. It's hilarious. It was, it was great. It was great because literally I stood right beside her. I was just there, and then she's like, "Let me get his attention." <laughs> oh, but they were so chill. Like they didn't even want anything the whole flight. So I kept on bugging them, like, "Well, you're gonna take something now." They took some mixed nuts. So good enough. I generally make it a point to try to just have random small talk with anybody who's boarding the aircraft and things are going slowly everybody's just stopped and it's like we can just stare at each other or we could just ignore each other or we could just have a basic conversation and just um and it's funny because she actually kind of looked like who did she look like i don't know she looked like somebody from some show so it's one of those moments and there's a passenger right there and I try to talk to him and she's like ignoring me and then she looks at me and then it's just like her eyes go and then she just grabs her phone and she unlocks it and she pushes the button and she puts the phone in my face and it says, it says I'm deaf and I'm like oh no because I've seen the the flight manifest and I know we've got a deaf passenger on board but what are the odds that I try to strike up a conversation with a deaf passenger so it's just like this moment I'm like okay okay no, no, you're I, and see, I would really wonder. I would love to have that conversation with someone at some point. Like, what does that feel like to constantly have people trying to talk to you? And you have to be like, no, I'm deaf. I can't hear you. Not to mention masks. Can't read lips, you know. Uh, be interesting to find that out. But anyway, uh, so I wrote up a note on my phone. Just like, hey, my name is Benjamin. This is, you know, the crew. If you need anything, here's what we can do for you. Blah, 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 whatever. So I went back handed her my phone and um and so it it's just like i don't know i feel like in those moments when you can connect with someone beyond what they're used to that's where you take your customer service above and beyond that's where you take it to a different level and so that was a great moment and as for the cutest moment of the year i think this one took the cake as far as being able to capture it as it happened and just immerse yourself in the moment. Behold, witness and enjoy Ainor's first Oreo. It was, yes, and she is that expressive and immersed into her world. She's going to be a dancer. We thought that she was going to be a runner, all the kicking she was doing in, in uh, the queen's belly, but uh, she's definitely going to be a dancer because I'm, I'm going to have to put together a compilation of her dance videos. Uh, probably just put some of it in the, because we did a, our, our mini getaway vacation was to West Palm Beach, and everywhere we went, she was literally the star of the show, the center of attraction, and Anytime there was music, she would stop and dance. And everyone just had to, you know, no, we're not going anywhere. There's music. I am dancing. She ran the show. 
<laughs> it was great. It was great. But uh, yeah, that, that definitely was the cutest moment of the year. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the surprise, 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 because I know you guys wanted this. Uh, I wanted it too. I just didn't know it was possible. Um, so, you know, when I always do like a year end thing, I would I would try to do a compilation of years past and stuff like that. And uh, also, uh, well, basically, I'm going to say this. You know we lost everything when it comes to all the, the videos that we had on the YouTube channel. All gone. And I didn't have backups of everything. So uh, a lot of memories were lost. But I am very happy to report that I have found way down deep in the inner dregs of hard drives. Uh, whenever I would do a year-end video or whenever I would change the uh, opener... I would download some of those videos and cut pieces out of them. And evidently, somewhere deep down in the hard drives, there are some full episodes and, uh, that, that I actually have access to. And so I'm going to start uploading those so not all is lost. We can go and back and reminisce on some of those episodes. And then I thought to myself, well, you know what? I also use Time Machine to back up my hard, dr uh, hard drive from time to time. And so I went into the time machine and went back to previous years in which there were also previous episodes. And so we've got a handful of memories preserved and I will be uploading those just as soon as possible. So uh, stay tuned for all of those memories. And like I said, year end, I hope you guys have a better year next year than this year was. Because if this year was bad, you deserve something better. And if this year wasn't bad, you still deserve something better. But wherever the year takes you and whatever you do, make sure you don't forget. Geeky key card. <laughs> That's going to do it for us. Happy New Year. And I'll be seeing you shortly. We'll be flying again soon. Benjamin, out.